for years. Tori and I have been pushing the limits of science, engineering, and art to test the world's biggest myths. Science and technology are advancing at an incredible rate. It's to the point that science is moving so fast that people will believe just about anything. Genetics research has reached the point where we could create a Jurassic Park. But what if we took that one step further? Where science, special effects, what the and cutting edge technology will be used to create the most outrageous, constant, shut down, explosive, Holy oh, and hilarious pranks ever. Oh my God! Science and prank are about to collide. This is Frankenstein. Carrie and I have assembled the Prank Science Squad at a local lab in Southern California, where today we're hoping to pull off a really cool prank. Hey guys, I'm super excited for this one today. So what we're doing is we're pretending like we're doing a TV show that's allowing science enthusiasts to get involved in an experiment. So we're here at a cryogenics lab. We're gonna be tricking somebody to believe that we're actually gonna freeze a body. The idea of cryonics, or freezing the human body to bring it back to life, has been around for some time, but it isn't scientifically possible just yet, as our low temperature expert, Dr. Bosler, explains. You know, we hear a lot of legends that people are freezing their heads or their bodies. Walt like Disney. The, uh, Michael Jackson. Well, it's overly optimistic. <laughs> Where humans simply get frostbite under extreme cold, in nature, there are cold-blooded creatures like the wood frog, Rana sylvatica, that have the ability to survive after being frozen in temperatures as low as negative 16 degrees Celsius due to cryoprotectants in their blood cells. However, the doctor gave us a couple of tips on how we can make our human popsicle prank slightly credible. These guys have been studying this. What they try to do is use sort of an antifreeze Vitrification is a way of basically making life forms glass. So let's say you were to freeze a human body completely and you were to drop it, would it shatter into a bunch of pieces? <laughs> yeah, that would probably be a reasonable <laughs> expectation. We've assembled some of the best improv actors in the business to help trick today's subject. An unsuspecting lab rat named Anna. Now, she's come to the cryo lab today with some strong beliefs in cryogenics. Oh yeah, the fact that science can freeze you and bring you back later is like the coolest thing. If I was terminally ill and I was given 30 days to live, knowing that there might be a cure sometime in the future, I could have myself cryogenically frozen and then be awoken at a later time or be operated on and, and my life could be saved. Which would be really cool as well because you wake up and it's like a century later or something. Like that's crazy. <laughs> but for Anna, this pleasant day in the lab just may chill her to the bone. And Dave, uh, why are you here again? Uh, so, like this unsuspecting person that's about to get pranked, I'm going to be alongside them as a fellow lab rat. Well, everything goes to hell, and I will be of no help. <laughs> all right, I think we got it. Ready, break. With all the pieces in place, we're ready to give Anna the shock of her life. In today's segment, cryophobia. Hi. Hello, Hi guys. There. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having Hi. us. How are you? Hi, Dave. Dave. Hi, Toy. Welcome in, Dr. Faust. Hi. Hi. Hello. We are going to facilitate the cryogenic freezing of one of our clients, and you are going to see it happen. <laughs> this is very exciting. Like, I had no idea I'd be actually participating in something with such importance. The ability to revive dead tissue is honestly the stuff of science fiction. The key I've learned in my studies is to freeze a living person before they've taken their last breath. This facility is exclusively for human beings. We have hundreds of clients in storage. Well, so if people are putting themselves into this situation, like which is obviously really courageous because you don't know, it's pretty new, um, what's the goal? Let's say the person doesn't have a terminal illness, like what if someone's just curious? Would you do it? Definitely, probably would. For me, it's the science of beating time because the client I'm going to introduce you to does have a terminal condition. So I'd love to bring her in. I'm still like mind blown, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm still like processing, processing, but I'm up for it, yeah. So far, Anna seems to be buying our pseudoscience. Let's see how she'll react when coming face to face with an actual patient. I guess when, you're, you're like, when you wake up, then you're, you're just gonna be the exact same age, right? You won't age at all. 
That's correct. Wow, that's wild, that's amazing. <laughs> We're going to take you into the chamber now and prepare you, and then I'll call you in when everything's ready and we can begin. And I'll visit you all in the old folks' home. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to witness a miracle. We have Emily prepared and ready. She is going to go into a cryogenic stasis. Hi. Bye. See you later. Whoa. Dave, turn the system on. Let's oh. begin. Okay. Okay, it's off. Okay, Anna, you're going to assist me. Turn these. Good. Good. Switches. Five, four, three, two, one. By now, 15 to 20 seconds in, her body is frozen and she is in a perfect state of stasis. Wow. Yeah, I don't really, I'm kind of speechless. Believe me, I get it. Uh, she's not our only client of the day. We do have a former Olympian who you will recognize. Uh, yes, if, if we could interview the Olympian as well with Carrie and Tori. If we could leave you guys here, we'll be sure. back in yeah. five minutes. Mm -hmm. Great, sounds good. Wonderful. Thanks. We'll be back and we'll do it one more time. Okay. So, are you okay? I'm shaky, but I'm okay. Yeah. It definitely leaves you feeling a little profound, I can tell you that. Yeah. Well, I was so, so scared I was going to mess something up. Um, what the hell does that mean? The temperature is rising in there. Did I turn off the panel before we walked out? No, the, the panel still has lights blinking. Yeah, we needed to turn that off. I need you to um, initialize the... Uh, what just happened? What the hell? The temperature is rising in the chamber. Oh. What, what do we do? We're, we don't know what we're doing. You need to get back in here. I cannot get in there unless you can reset the machine. Okay, no, 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 don't touch it. Don't, don't pass with it, don't pass with it, don't pass with it. I have a 10 degree rise in temperature in the chamber. What just happened? Dave, turn the key. What are you talking about? Why did you turn the key? Turn the key. <laughs> We need to arm the red switches two at a time. Bottom two, then top two? No, no! We weren't, oh no, okay, no. My clients are melting. Pay attention, top two, then bottom two. Done. I think we're in the clear. Thank God. Oh, God. How long did I go on for? That wasn't that long, right? What the fuck? Oh my God, I swear to God, I'm gonna... <coughs> Don't do that, don't. Oh, I think he wants to do switches again. No, 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 Because no, 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 Okay. We're gonna have to pull a master override. One of you has to man the key. Um, I'll man the key, I'll man the key. Okay, wait, don't turn it yet though. Right. One of you has to man the key. I didn't touch anything, but the lights should stop blinking. I'm on the key, you're on the button. I don't think you should be on anything. Just let me be on the key, you be on the button. That's more important. One person's hand on the key, one person's hand on the button. Yes. Ready, three, two. And when I say one, it's button and key at the same time. Go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh dear God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this Emily. toxic? Is this like to I'm sorry. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. oh! Oh my God! We have a breach in the chamber! We have a breach in the chamber! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Radio, radio, radio! We're gonna use explosives, we're gonna blow the door. Stay away from the door. <laughs> Stay away from the no! door. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Which this door, one, which door? 
door we came in! The door we came in! Yes, stay away from the door we came in. We're on our way. Stay away from the door. We can open the door. I need you to step to the panel. Cover you! Cover you! Whoa, I got it, I got it, I got it! Get one hand on the red button. One hand, red button! One hand on the right hand, blue switch. I got it! Now say, I am on... I'm on... Prank science. Prank science! <laughs> 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 I was just sort of in a mental state of nope, 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 nope. <laughs> At any point, were you questioning the validity of the science? By that point, you had got me. Like, I was sold. I was like, yeah, this is happening, this happened. You handled that amazingly, though. <laughs> this is Frankenstein. The prank show? Oh. Is that what he said? <laughs> the prank show? <laughs> <laughs>